apologize for that but uh, it's been pretty hectic we did move the move didn't take a very long time but okay so the move didn't take a long time but the settling part was the hard part but like even before that I know like I wasn't really filming it's been like almost a month it didn't take a month to move and settle but before that I think there was just a lot going on and I wasn't in a place where I was in right situation to film uh so yeah i am back again i don't know i just i don't know when it went wrong but i'm just never really consistent uh with filming uploading uh i think it's ever since i got pregnant to be honest <laughs> but i am here with aiden i'm trying to put him to bed so i am not proud but i have been putting him to bed with a bottle i know it's a bad habit it's not good for their teeth um he has eight eight teeth in a month i gotta start giving him cow milk and start weaning off the formula and i don't like i am excited yet i'm scared because i honestly don't know any other way to put him to bed besides like putting him on the carrier or in the car like i don't really know other way to put him to bed besides to give him a bottle and he just kind of goes to sleep on his own um i tried pacifier everything i tried to give him his own finger to suck on to go to sleep like that's how desperate i was but it seems like he really just wants the bottle yeah look at this book <gasps> look at this book numbers <gasps> whoa so ever since we moved here i've been trying to be in his bedroom like 30 minutes to an hour before he goes to bed to Help him relax more, calm him down. There's no music, there's no like lights, there's no toys making noises. So his room is <laughs> okay. Besides his camera, <laughs> uh, everything in his bedroom is baby proof. It's never 100 baby proof, but it it's close. <laughs> I feel pretty comfortable with him just like rolling around and uh, going up and down his bed and you know, coming to his bookshelf and he has his little tunnel over there uh, the doors are closed but I feel like eventually he's gonna figure out how to open it so I have to put a lock on it but right now I feel pretty comfortable like middle of the night he's been waking up and not wanting to go bed and he just wants to play like middle of the night and I am right now not complaining too much about it because he just kind of gets out of the bed on his own and he just comes here in this corner and just plays by himself and comes back to bed so that's pretty cool i've been kind of going back and forth with the montessori bedroom ideas but i've been loving it uh he does have a floor bed so he does have a floor bed right here um and this is just a general idea of his bedroom i think uh, i've looked at a bunch of montessori bedrooms and man some of them look like prison <laughs> because it has to be baby proof there's nothing in there besides a bed and like a book or a, like a soft toy so it looks like prison prison i obviously i want a little more than that so right now i do want his room to be a little bit like a forest theme so that's where we're heading at because i have this uh i'll show you i have this tree bookshelf i got from costco oh my gosh if you guys got your hands on it this is like one of the best things i got from costco it is so cute it's so much cheaper at costco than other websites it could be well mounted but like it's pretty heavy like it takes a lot of effort for me so aiden grabs it and try to stand up it doesn't even budge eventually i do have to mount it but right now it's okay this corner i think i'm going to move this somewhere and then put like a tp and like a camp um a campfire obviously like a plushie and do something in this corner but right now this this is all we got <laughs> let's read a book so he is not interested in a book he's not interested i try to read it out loud by myself hoping that he'll just crawl next to me and read it like not read it but like listen at least but no he's more interested in this little bunny that wasn't even meant for him <laughs> and then oh my gosh middle of the night he just goes entire night like I, you know i told you he wakes in the middle of the night and then he just starts playing he just like i hear this like thing rolling i'm just like 
Oh my god. But this is one of the Montessori toys, so I leave it in here. There are a lot of toys, a lot of battery toys that he just sick of, and sometimes I just have to kind of like keep sh like switching off. But this one, he always goes to and plays with it. So, um, so yeah, right now it's almost his bedtime in like thirty minutes. So I'm going to just start reading books for him, or just read a book out loud by myself, and um, let him know that it's almost bedtime. So I've been trying to keep that routine. Sometimes I'm just like kind of lazy i don't do it every single time but i try to one of my favorite books not favorite uh one of the books that i like a little more than the other ones is this one called and i read so this one, okay i think this one is like a christian based book but it's still really good uh it's called the on the night you were born and it's just really i love books like this because like you know how when we go to the zoo like the polar bears are always sleeping but in this book it explains why they're sleeping like oh uh, because on the night you were born they were dancing all night so if you ever go to the zoo and see polar bears sleeping it's because they were dancing all night for you so stuff like that is really cute we're not gonna touch that okay so it's really cute and like there's um another one that why there's like one page that i really like i didn't even know that this was like a christian based book but um so it says so whenever you doubt just how special you are and you wonder how who loves you i see this is what it does who loves you and how much how much and how far listen for geese honking high in the sky they're singing a song to remember you by um, or notice that they're asleep, asleep at the zoo, it's because they've been dancing all night for you. Look. Squishy, squashy pumpkin. Five little pumpkins in a row, in a little patch where the pumpkins grow. Okay, I like this book too. It's called Dinner Time for Chickies. Dinner Time Chickies, let's all eat. Wash your wings and take a seat. Just one pint size PV pack, you might like it, you should check. Mmm, pass the meatballs, pass the peas, pass the macaroni, please. Dinner time, chickies, let's all eat. Use your napkin, we'll be neat. So Aiden is napping right now. I'm just making some chicken breast uh, and I'm going to eat it with some rice, avocado, and roasted seed paper. Uh, might sound pretty boring, but it's pretty good. It's healthy. So I'm going to just cut close to my breakfast, but I want to eat something before I head out. So I'm going to take Aiden and go to Costco. I'm just going to land over and then just pick up some stuff. And I'm actually trying to see if they have like a good deal on like a food storage containers. I think after a few moves, I've just broken too many and lost too many. So I just need more sets. And as you know, like now that I have a extra person to cook for, I need those more than ever. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to a Korean market just to pick up a few ingredients for um, the meal meal prep that I'm gonna do. It's not even a meal prep. I just like to like freeze a lot of things. So I love like you know like bulgogi or any kind of Korean marinated beef, marinated meat. Like I really like to just kind of like marinate it and just vacuum seal it and put it in the freezer. It's so convenient. Uh, sometimes I do put uh, vegetables with it, sometimes I freeze the vegetables separately, like I'm ready to go. You know, like how, like a meal kit, like what, like what you buy at a store. Uh, I basically prepare it like that, throw it in the freezer, forget about it for a few days, and I'm like, what do I eat? Oh, I have brugogi, and then I just kind of fry, fry, fry. And that itself is so convenient for me, uh, so convenient for like, my husband, so I'm going to do frugogi today actually and oh my gosh I hum 
to like only kids music now sometimes like if the music like like michael buble i actually really don't mind aiden listening to that i think it's pretty soothing it's you know nothing it, he doesn't really swear in it like nothing inappropriate um or i think <laughs> um or at least like i don't think aiden's gonna pick up anything from his music like too inappropriate so i don't mind him listening to that but usually i would like to, him to listen to more kids music i always have avocado in my fridge now because aiden loves it and there are times where like i cook for him i spent like good hour on it like very thoughtful meal like oh my god aiden's gonna love this it's so cute he hates it and what do i do i, I still have to feed him right so I just whip out avocado and rice. He loves it. Oh, I actually have to buy roasted. I have to buy roasted um, seaweed paper because I want to try to give him like a roll, like a kimbap or sushi roll, whatever you want to call it. You should write that down too. There are like must-have things that I. I have to buy today. Noted my rice. This is all the rice that I'm eating. I am trying to lose weight, but going nowhere. You know, like, cause Aiden started eating solids, and I'm like, I feel like he's pretty advanced. He's eating more than just a puree, and I cook him like it's you know it's not seasoned. I don't give him like bad food. It's all like, it's not organic, but it's like all like it's a really healthy food. I feel like if I eat like that every day, I'll be very fit and skinny, right? And healthy. Um, so I'm like, why am I eating junk? <laughs> I'm always eating like super like marinated food, which like I don't mind like one like one meal a, a day. But if my entire day is filled with such high like super saucy, very like f too flavorful things, I, I'm just like. Mm. Maybe it's maybe if I'm feeding my baby for his health, maybe I should start feeding myself for health, not just I'm hungry, let's eat good food, which is fine, but like not all the time, right? After I had a baby and like he's crawling everywhere, I just my man, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's so hard to keep up with him, so I really have to start eating for my health gotta start working out for my health not because i want to look good but i have to feel good right so man the stuff that just shifted like the stuff that like i think of like the way i think about things the way the reason why i do things is so different now with the kid it's crazy um my chicken looks okay i want sesame oil i love going out to eat even with aiden with aiden especially i actually really love it um, like going out with my friends, family, and especially with Tong as like, like my own immediate family, I love doing it. But the other day, we had a dinner plan on like Friday night, and it was kind of late. Like I wanted to do it, do it earlier, but knowing the majority of people's schedule, like 6.30 really worked. So I was like, ugh, I'm risking it, but I'll take him. I took him literally an hour after, like our food was coming out, Aiden was just so fussy. He just... I couldn't, I tried to show him Miss Rachel, I gave him all the snacks in the world, I tried to hold him, nothing worked. He just had to be in his bed and go to sleep. So we're like, hey, I'm sorry guys, we have to go. It sucks, because like we haven't gone out like that in a really long time, but as soon as we got home, I, you know, I put Aiden to bed and he just passes out. Um, so yeah, after that happened, I'm just like, I gotta try this again, because I don't like having that my recent visit to a restaurant was not the best one. So I'm like, Thomas, yeah, maybe I'll plan another date night. You know, I do really love um, having, I loved having uh, dinner nights with Tong. And we actually had a omakase, sushi omakase date night for our anniversary in February. Um, and it was great. I loved it. Like we took the train to the city and it was just really fun um but i miss it i loved it but i also do love like going with aiden it's just so much fun just so much memory 
Mmm. So good. I feel like it is gonna wake up really soon. Probably in like 30 minutes he's gonna wake up. Yeah, he's been cutting his nap really short. No. He should be taking two hour, an hour and a half to two hour nap for the first one. But he's been doing like 50 minutes to an hour. So if he wakes up crying, I would try to put him back to sleep, but he doesn't. He seems like he got a good rest, but he gets tired so fast. You guys are wondering how I'm is doing. Look at him. Hey, how come that? This is a little corner. So pretty. Okay, so I take my words back because I told you guys Aiden only sleeps an hour, but he's been sleeping a little more than an hour right now. Um, watch, just as I say this, he's gonna wake up. But anyways, he's sleeping pretty well. Um, so I have a little bit more time, so I decided to get his lunch ready so when we come back, he could have it. Or maybe we might have to have this before we go um but this looks fake almost but it's just um avocado and it's avocado and tofu silk tofu so okay so i try to put carrot in and although it's healthy the it makes it look like a vomit because the color just doesn't work so i would add like broccoli or like bok choy or something like that but I don't know, because I just wanted to keep it simple with avocado and tofu. And I already have the pasta in the in the refrigerator ready to go, so all I have to do is just mix and maybe like, I don't know, throw it in the microwave for a little bit. That's done. His lunch is ready. Dinner is already in the freezer. So, so for Aiden, I always try to give him rice for dinner and then lunch is like more like I want to try something new if I want to try it like oh I really want to try this like a banana cake then I'll do it for lunch and then if it's a good if it if and if I get a thumbs up with from Aiden then I'll make it for dinner not dinner for breakfast or like other lunches but usually when I want to try something new it's during lunch time uh, breakfast I always give him what he likes like um, I give him I try to give him like peanut butter toast or like banana pancake uh, yogurt and fruits and I feel like I haven't really oh and I sometimes give him like a like a pumpkin and sweet potato puree oh my gosh he loves it and I actually it's really really good I've tried it too I'm like wow this is actually really good the sweet pumpkin is so good <laughs> so good I feel like it's almost sweeter than my sweet potato. I have to get fruit today. I love strawberries, bananas, blueberries, and I haven't really had a chance to restock them. So he's been just stuck with bananas, but uh, I'll get more today. Uh, right now, I have a little more time than I thought. Until Aiden is gonna wake up and pack our stuff and go to Costco. Ah, look. Look.
I was planning on going to a Korean groceries as well, but I'm just like, nope, I am done. My energy is like already like hitting below 50%. So I came back, but we have most of the stuff. Um, some of, like some of the recipes I just had to cook without a few ingredients, but it shouldn't make that big of a difference. I'm gonna give Aiden his blueberries first. Um, so he could be a little busy while I am unpacking. Uh, got these blueberries and let's get a little a bowl. Tadarish, everybody. Everybody calm down. If you guys are wondering what you should get for like a baby shower gift, if you're putting a basket together, get batteries. Get AAA, get double get double A. I started with Montessori toys. Um, and I still like them. I don't get me wrong, I still love Montessori toys. But sometimes you just need those flashy battery operating toys and trust me, like they will you will need a lot of batteries. So if you're putting together a basket for your friends, like baby shower, whoever, family, whatever, get batteries. Oh, so, first, I got some eggs. And then, so I told you guys I'm making purgogi, so that's one of the reason, main reason why I had to go to Korea market to get the purgogi cut. But I actually saw this shabu shabu cut uh, at Costco. This, there's no way this can be shabu shabu, it's way too thick, but I feel like it's good thickness for purgogi. And then I got, I got the container, storage container. So they had like a larger collection one, but that was in plastic. I don't want to do plastic. Um, so this one has 18 pieces. I know. Like these things are fun for me now. I am, I have transformed into a mother, mother life. Ah, there's just only one of this one. Okay, it's not bad. Okay, I think it's 18 pieces including the lid, which is funny. What do you have to say? Why do you have so much to say? Here. What do you want to say? Mm. Yum. Seriously, this is what Aiden has been doing lately. Like, if he's not getting something fast enough or um, whatever, he will just start yelling. I think he's learning that from Ame, to be honest. Because Ame gets it, and he's like, I can get it too. Yeah, yeah, we're watching you. I'm filming all this, so later when you see this, like, wow, I was very fussy. I got this, my fun farm box. This is a board book for babies, so... I'm very excited to open this and put them in Aiden's bookshelf, which I will do right now. I was like, I don't like to wait. Okay. Let me show you this. Wash your hands. Yeah, I really should. I should stop feeding you with my hand. Um. Oh, no. I never thought I'll be excited to ever buy a book, but I love getting kids' books. I love what the story is about. 
Uh, but these are so cute down on the farm. There's a terrible smell. The cow is pooping and the sheep as well. They all run. It is just the cutest thing. Oh my god, these people are so cute. I can't wait to read for you. I'm very excited for your nap time. Or your bedtime, whatever. So he has finally moved from three naps to two naps. Like, we're set. We have not gone back to three naps in a really long time. If that does happen, it's because we're in a car and he just kind of dozes off for a 10 minute. Um, but yes, we are finally into two naps, which is great uh, because that's like one more nap time that I have to put him down for. Um, but it just I feel like a lot of new parents, new moms have the same problem. Not problem, but like concern and uh, like they're not sure what to do in that longer awake hours when they, you know, drop to two naps. Because that just means that they're just up longer. And what do you do for three, four hours, you know? Okay, so it's 2.30. Aiden should be going to bed by like 2.50, 3 o'clock. So I have a good time. I think I'm going to eat this really quick. And then go into Aiden's room and we are going to try out the new book which clearly I'm more excited than he is clearly but it is okay kind of a lot but I'm okay with it eat this really quick oh my gosh I have I'm just always so hungry I feel like I feel like it's never enough to I feel like I just never have enough food. Like I just have one classical run. I'm exhausted. I'm hungry, you know? I mean you guys saw I had a meal before I went but as soon as I come home, I'm like, I'm tired, I'm hungry. This is so good. As I was saying, I don't think I have, like, a lot of, I move a lot during the day. A lot. I lift a lot of things. Aiden is 22 pounds right now. But I've held... 24, 25 pound babies, toddler. Aiden is so dense. I honestly feel like he weighs more than 22 pounds. He's very, very dense. And trying to pick him up is, is hard. So, I move a lot, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm just always hungry. And I just feel like I just never have enough food. So I try not to have any junk food. I love Korean chips. I try not to buy it because I could just kill it in one day. I buy I we bought this huge bag when we first moved in here. Gone. Like by the end of the night, I think the first night I was just so tired. I mean we did move too, but I just like inhaled the whole thing. And then the other night, I bought two bags of Korean chips because Tony and I were like, let's just drink a little bit and the night with some drink and some like card games. Killed it. The crazy thing is I don't care because I used to feel guilty all the time. Like, oh my God, I just cannot believe I had, I had this much junk food. I don't because I, I feel like I just burned it off right away. Or at least I think I am because I'm like still hungry. So the bed frame has a door. I kept it open and I tied it up because Aiden's been like opening and closing it and I'm just afraid that he's gonna catch his finger. Um, because I want him to have the access to leave the bed and come back to the bed. And he loves it. He loves it. 
So if you guys are trying to decide if you want to convert your kid's bedroom to something Montessori-like, I highly, highly recommend. Well, Aiden is not sleeping, I think. I think he will soon though. I think he's gonna he's in his room just playing by himself. So I think in a few minutes I I'm thinking he will start to get really a little drowsy and sleepy, so I'm going to go in and help him fall asleep. But until then I'm going to wash my blueberries and throw them away. Wash all of them and I'm just going to oh, I think I'll just pick these really bad ones out maybe. Oh my gosh. These are Seriously, so horrible. Like, ugh, whatever. This is the container that I have been using for my food. I stole it when I moved out of my parents' house. So the bad ones all sort of sink to the bottom of the bowl, which is kind of nice. It's easy for me to just pick them out. So I need about like a pound and a half, so half of this. Hearing Aiden, so... My garlic is frozen. I actually bought this for Aiden's like when he began his salads, but I don't really use it, so I'm gonna use it for my garlic freezing my garlic. Okay. I'm gonna add lots of green onions actually because I like it. So I'm to cut. Oh, I hear Aiden. Okay. I think he's gonna I think he's finally tired. So let me just that's perfect because while I am helping him go to sleep, hopefully this garlic is somewhat thought out. Aiden is finally asleep. This garlic is frozen. I think Ahmed thinks that I'm talking to somebody. That's why he came in here, but he's like, oh, you're talking to yourself again. And, um, look at this, guys. It looks amazing. Just going to vacuum seal it. I don't let it vacuum all the way because it does have a little bit of sauce, so I don't want it to like come out. You, you could date it, but we usually eat it pretty fast. 
so I don't even bother dating it. I'm sure this will be done within a week, at most week and a half. Oops. So you guys see, I have uh, chicken breast and I have two ground beef. I think I gotta actually use this pretty soon. I have my pumpkin, these are so good. These are all just for my vacuum stuff, so I'm gonna... There you go. Put these in these. Put these guys right there. Yesterday, after I did I made pierogi, I was going to continue filming, but just a lot of stuff kind of happened the uh, rest of the night, so I couldn't continue filming. Um, but basically, we had my parents over, and we had dinner with them, and they were playing with Aiden, of course, and then kinda I did laundry and kind of ended the night there. So it's the next day. <laughs> Hi! I had a busy morning, per usual. Um, I tried to make this pumpkin, so my friend sent me this link to make, you know, Korean uh, sweet potato pie or like a bread. Uh, it's very baby friendly and you could just use air fryer. I didn't have sweet potatoes, but I did have sweet pumpkin and I just thought they were sweeter for some reason. So I tried to make it, but it tasted like dog poop. Um, so that didn't work out. So it was a pretty chaotic morning. I could make breakfast for everybody. Uh, so he's like, stop talking. <laughs> so, I mean, my morning's been just chaotic. I mean, I try to kind of prepare the meal, the first meal at least, like, pretty fresh. Uh, uh, and I've been giving Ame carrots, like steamed uh, carrots and eggs. It's either eggs or um, chicken breast. So, <laughs> what's so funny? Uh. So yeah, so I'm making meals for three people. It's I love it. Yet yeah, it's stressful and it's pretty chaotic uh. in the morning. But when it's like you know, like I'm happy that you know, the rest of my family is getting a good meal and they're very content. Uh, it's almost his bedtime. Yes, I know. Mommy knows it's almost your bedtime. Or nap time. Aiden is finally asleep. Um, so I try to minimize his uh, formula to three ounces when I'm putting him down because, you know, it, it became a habit. He doesn't really need it. He just, like, wants the milk. So I reduced it to three ounces and I think that's how I'm, and I think I'm going to keep reducing it until he doesn't need it anymore. Um, so today he actually did really good. He had like one ounce and then I just and then he just automatically wanted a pacifier So I'm like, okay, this works. So he went to bed. He's good uh, Hopefully he could keep this up at, keep this up at night It's just that it's so hard for me to find a pacifier at night like a middle of the night because I don't want to turn on the light and Even if the light is like really dim. I'm just like <sighs> I, I just can't see a lot of stuff at night because I'm, I'm half awake and you know, it's really hard. Anyways, I bought this bag of garlics from Costco. Um, I usually get mine from Korean market because they're usually better, but it's been failing on me. Um. <laughs> We're eating a macaroni pasta with uh, avocado and tofu puree. Chew that first, yeah. So I've been trying to show him like signs, but I don't know. Maybe I'm not consistent enough, or he's just not ready. But I want him to do more, more, more. Mm. 
of water per day but I think he he's barely drinking an ounce okay you don't you don't want it anymore I think you're done do you want to show your drum this is Aiden's drums so I feel like this is like one of the popular toys I got this off of a Facebook market um, I wasn't really planning on like getting it or like I never really heard of it or anything uh, but we went to a friend's house and Aiden was loving it. He was like, jump, like now, he, now he wasn't jumping, but he was like kind of like, pouncing a little. So I was like, oh, I want to get one. But like this thing is like $80 on Walmart. I don't know if they sell it at Amazon, but I was like, wow, it's pricey. So luckily I found it on a uh, Facebook market. So I go, I get it. I got it for $10 and she, before I picked it up, she's like, oh, it needs new batteries. I was like, okay, that's fine. I just bought batteries from Costco, right? Um, so I bring it home, I put batteries in, nothing. It wasn't working. So I look at the battery compartment. It was so rusted, so rusted. I'm like, did this lady like, like was she not using this for a long time? Or like, has this been listed for a really long time where she had no idea that you know, like it was, you know, basically it wasn't working. So uh, I was like, oh man, man, oh man, like did I, did I like waste my time and my ten dollars? So but I wasn't like that devastated. I think like that's, I mean, it's ten dollars for ten dollars, but you know, it's just like it's better than a like, hundred dollars, right? Or even eighty dollars. So I was like, okay, well I'll try to fix it. So I looked it up and like I scrubbed the shit out of it with vinegar and. Um, with uh, vinegar and baking soda dried it you have to dry it completely and I honestly did not think that it will work I was like I just didn't have any hope zero percent as soon as I put the second battery in like what do you know it started like making music and it was, you know, it was working so I was like oh what like what an achievement right so because other than that it was really it's in really good condition nothing is broken like there's no like stain or anything like that few scratches but you can't even tell to be honest um so yeah that is what we got and i love it um so it does come with the drumsticks but aiden's been putting it more in his mouth than like actually trying to like hit the thing he does it sometimes but rarely so right now we're just it gets louder. Seriously, this Biaba baby cooker is one of the best investments I got. Just because um, I don't only use it for Aiden's food, I use it for like steaming anything. And basically, like I don't, I love it because like I don't have to worry about anything like burning or whatever. So. Okay, so I didn't have the luxury of having my afternoon coffee yesterday, um, but I'm going to do it right now. Cannot skip another day. So I don't, I got rid of the espresso machine because I just really hated having so many appliances out in the kitchen. Uh, so instead, I got rid of the, the espresso grinder as well. So instead, I decided to just because you know there's so many like, Aiden, I'll be like, oh, he's just hanging out by himself. Um, so there are so many, you know, like 
this powder latte is coffee is available for you so I'm like I rather just buy these and like have few in hand instead of like having espresso machine have to buy espresso all the time have a sweetener instead of that um, yeah. I, I thought this would be a better fit for my lifestyle now so even when people come over this is something I would offer um, I think it's just so much more convenient it tastes better sometimes you have more options I'm going to just sit here and watch Aiden play okay, so this is currently what is happening I'm just letting him crawl all over the apartment just letting him crawl I usually put him in this um his playpen when I want him in a just designated spot but he's been really disliking it uh, he stays for like he used to stay for like good 30 minutes even sometimes more but now I think like 10 minutes tops he just like get me out um, so I'm just like I understand why people start buying more toys and you know all this stuff for the babies because you wanna there's only so much you could do to entertain them so Right now, I'm gonna keep my eye on him, but I'm gonna let him just kind of crawl over because I did vacuum and mop, so it's pretty clean right now because I want to actually start making all the food. Oh, come on. What? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll see you Bring the stuff in, okay? It's ready. And then enoki mushroom. And then green onions. It already looks good to me, <laughs> to be honest. Um, it, do, it might not look like a lot, but this is perfect amount to, I think, for us because we're not trying to overeat. I am going to add some carrot in here. Aiden is asleep. Tong went out to pick up some wine and some sweets for me. It was a very exhausting day. A little more than ever. Um, but still good. Still a happy day. Um, as you guys can see, I have a lot of cleaning to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Probably another vlog. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.